Hello, my dear kids. Very good afternoon. This is Sundar Ravindranathan here. Hello, my dear kids. Very good afternoon. This is. How are you? Hello, Kashvi. Awesome guys, welcome to the session. Today we'll be dealing with what are functions, why are functions important and how to create a function and how to call a function. Simple, four very simple things is what we will be dealing with. So what we will do is we'll just wait for a minute because I think that many of them have not joined. Let them also jump in and then we will kick start the session, okay? Right? Hello Arjastuti. Sapna Pachori, how can I join in the sense, ma? I am not able to get your question. Hi, Shaurya. Many, many more happy returns of the day, beta. May God bless you. I have planned a complete recap. At that time, conditional clauses, we will do a... Guys, next session, I am thinking about an animation. So, next session is going to be an animation session where we will create a very interesting game okay so there you will find that i will be able to explain in detail the importance of conditional clauses uh, as well as loops and you will also understand the functions all three okay so that is the reason i didn't go with conditional clauses part two i just went with the functions now because once you understand what are these then you will be able to understand when i'm explaining you know the applications of all these uh, you know components Hello, Karmanya. Okay, guys, I think it's time. We should start. All right. In case you're wondering what is Vedantu Young Wonders, this channel is for 6th to 8th grades. Typically academic, non-academic, both are there. Academically, math, science, social, and English grammar is what we focus. All these four subjects. Non-academically, we have coding. We have spell bee contest. Yesterday, almost, almost a thousand students came. And uh, we also have... Uh, how does it work? Which, you know, a session called how does it work? Where we pick some small, small, very interesting components and explain you how they function. Stuff like webcam, touch screen, uh, tube light and all that stuff. Cool? Okay. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's the reason I explained this to all of you. Guys, the channel, the, you know, all of you know that the family is growing like anything, right? We are a group of more than... 3 lakh subscribers. Now it is 3 lakh and 25 plus. So we are growing very rapidly. I want your help to expand this family. We need to impact as many as we can. Okay. Right. So please don't forget to subscribe. Mahavir Prasad Beta, come on. Learn mathematics with me. See, mobile might not be able to. Two, two issues will come. Certain issues on compatibility where you will not be able to run things. And second is certain issues on uh, experience. Both are a problem. That's the reason mobile I wouldn't suggest. It should be a, a laptop or a desktop. That's always better. Okay. So now functions. Guys, what I'm going to do is as usual, I am going to kind of disappear for some time so that you are able to see the full screen. What are functions? Can you know before I go ahead and show it to you uh, in the platform? I want to check and ask all of you what do you think is a function, guys? Come on, come on, come on. If you know, you can, otherwise, it's okay. Anyhow, I'm going to explain to you. Anyone? Wow, Mrinalini. Wow, awesome. Many congratulations. Superb, guys. Function is a set of instructions, correct? Then, that's, just a, that's a program as well, right? Why should I have a function? All right, guys. All of you play video games. Come on, give me a yes if you play a video game. Come on, come on, come on.
Yes? Awesome. So now, let me take an example of Candy Crush. In Candy Crush, when you join three or more blocks of the same color, immediately some points come, right? And just you then go ahead, look out for some other, uh, you know, blocks, try and align them in such a way that they join and the it's like a bricks game. They join and uh, the moment they join, the points come. Do you think every time you go, try and uh, realign things and whenever you are uh, joining the blocks of the same color, do you think for every action, separate lines of code are written? Then the entire program will not run. The reason is, it will become too huge. Right? See, let me take uh, some other example. There are games where, one, you know, when, as you run, take an example of that, what is that maze runner or something. As you run, you will be able to pick points, right? On the run, you will be able to jump and catch coins, catch something, carrot and stuff. You, you will be able to get points. So every time do you think you catch, therefore every time you catch, do you think there is a separate line of code that is written? Not really. One time there is a code which will be written saying that if any user is jumping and catching something, add this many number of points. And every time someone does that, this code is will be called. It is called as a function. Function is a set of codes, all right, which can be called n number of times. Okay, I repeat, is everyone clear why is a function required? To avoid repeat, repeated documentation of the code. You, you need not write the code again and again. Right, all you have to do is write it once inside a function and call that function whenever you want to. So now, hey guys, how many of you understand what I am saying? What is a function? All of you play games, right? In those games, when you go and catch something, you get some points. Similarly, if it is a game where someone is shooting you, you shoot someone, you get some points. And someone shoots and it hits you, then you lose some points, right? So every time someone shoots, do you think for every time, every action, some separate code is written? Not really. The point is, once the code is written, that shooting, Hitting someone, if it is the enemy, reduce, uh, you know, add points. If it is you, reduce points. So once that, you know, any time a bullet is fired, the function will be called, which will check who is getting hit, whether it is you or the enemy, based on which it will decide whether to add points or to deduct points. If you are clear, give me a yo. It's very important for me to understand. Uday, I have re responded to you. Did you check your mail? Lot of syntax errors were there, Udaya. I corrected it and sent it back to you. Yo, 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 yo. Aradhana Praharaj. My dear beta. No, no, no. I am not ignoring you. Hi, Manvita. Many more happy returns of the day. May God bless you, beta. Oh, sorry, Abhinav. I saw the registered name. Guys, I think I responded to almost all of you. So, in case I have not responded, just forward that mail again. Yesterday, whole day, I sat and responded. <laughs> okay, now, coming back. So, are you ready? So, I hope everyone is understanding. Let's create some functions. Everyone ready? Okay, guys, I am going to disappear. You know, right? Because uh, you need to see the full screen. Otherwise, it will not be visible. So, I am just making myself disappear. You will be able to hear my voice. So, don't think sir has gone and drop. Be there and listen to what I am saying. Here we go. <coughs> Is everyone able to see my screen? Right. Awesome. So, now what we will do is, we will write a function where every time you hit uh, the space bar, space bar button, right? Every time you hit the space bar, uh, it will create some sprites, okay, in random location. So, we are writing a function for that and we will, okay, first to create a function, guys, all you have to do is, do you see, right now we are in sprite lab, all of you remember? 
we are in sprite lab okay so don't get co confused this is sprite lab now lin me see if i teach that now you will get confused for just focus on the session now for now please focus on the session all right we are in sprite lab i am going to functions create a function so what i am doing is the function will randomly create sprites here sprites at the random location so every time you hit the space let me put it make the sprite jump to a random location so location wise so what i am doing is let me give the name for a function first of all uh jump sprite that is the name of the function that i am creating so every time i create it what i have to do is first i want the sprite to jump to a random location so for that we have the behavior right jump to random location where is that location location yeah it's here or we can do this also one second make sprite first make a new sprite okay and then let me see behavior sprite will jump to a random location now what it will do move sprite jump to a random location so this is what a function i have created what did i do i have just created a function where if i tie if you know it will create a new sprite at a random location and jump it to a random location see here we'll remove this not 200 200 we'll put random location i repeat guys once you create you know i have created a function which will we don't know what will trigger this function but we have created a function which will create a new sprite at a random location in the play area and it will jump the sprite to a different location this is the plan now what i am going to do is i am going to the mains function guys close close the function it will get saved automatically now what i am doing is when space bar is pressed that is a guys tell me i want to bring that option called when space bar or when any any key is pressed where will that be will that be in event or action when space bar is pressed will that be under event or an action come on come on come on yeah events superb keep it up now let me go to events so when space bar is pressed so space bar when space is pressed here this is where you have to be very carefully you have to watch when space is pressed call the function instead of putting codes here giving the program right away here i am just calling the function call function is already created so what is that function jump sprite just now we created right that's it now we are done so whenever i run now it is when i press the space automatically some sprite will get created which will keep moving let's check focus see here wow awesome so a sprite gets created and keeps moving right different different places randomly so what did i do actually 
I have just created a small event when space bar is pressed, jump sprite. Similarly, uh, if I want to, whenever I press some other key, let us take this. If I press some other key, I am going to add another event. When up arrow is pressed, what I want to do is I want to create another function. Same one, but some other sprite we will create. Okay. See here. Uh, so, create a function. Here we go. Click on create function. What is this? Another sprite. Create another sprite. And here, what I am going to do is add a sprite. Some other sprite at a random location. Not this one. At a random location. What sprite can we add? Can we add a teddy? Let's add a teddy bear. Then, apart from that, it will jump it to a random location again. So, for that is a behavior, correct? Where is it? Action, I am sorry. So, move, move this to a random location. Teddy bear to a random location. So, guys, now this is the second function, which is another sprite. So, now we have two functions ready with us. When I press the space bar, jump sprite will get triggered. That means that sprite, bunny will come different, different places, keep jumping. If I press the up arrow, let's add the function. To add the function, click on the function, click on another sprite, add it. So, both the functions have been attached now. Right? Now, let's see. I'm going to run it. Let's see what happens. Space bar, bunny comes. Up arrow. Woo! Space bar, up arrow. Look at this. Nice, right? So, now are you guys understanding what is a function? Function is a set of codes which can be created called any time. I will give you an example. Now, you have two functions, jump sprite and another sprite, right? If I want to add, call that function any time, any time, say, let me say another event. Uh, when you click on something, when you click on this, when you click also, I want uh, the, when you click on the bunny, I want the teddy bear to jump. I repeat, when you click on the bunny, I want the teddy bear to jump, right? So, now what are we doing? When it is clicked, call the function. Call this function again. So, what is the function we have? Let's add jump sprite. So, when you click on the bunny, teddy bear is going to jump. See here. Oh. One second. You want another sprite? Hold on, we'll do that. One second. So, jump sprite. Since the sprites are different, it's not working. So, what we have to do here is, let me go to the function. Check the function now. Sorry, it is another sprite. Function, another sprite, add it here. Guys, so when your bunk bunny is clicked, another sprite will get triggered now. See here, now there are three instances. One, a space bar is pressed, we will have a bunny jumping to different, different location. When up arrow is pressed, a teddy bear will come jump to different, different location. Similarly, when a bunny is clicked, the teddy bear will start jumping. See here. Space bar is pressed, bunny is clicked. Are you understanding? When I click on the bunny, teddy bear is jumping. I created only once, right? Another sprite only once. See, I have called it twice here. Hey guys, is everyone understanding how beautiful it is? The use of function. 
typically functions are the building blocks for any game it's a great concept in object oriented programming guys give me a yo if you are clear awesome so everyone clear with codes guys now quickly to summarize now you know what is a program what is coding all about right and what are the benefits of coding as well you also know what are variables all right what are variables you also know what is looping you also know what is an event correct right yes and now we also know uh, what are conditional clauses right and now we also know what are functions these are the most important subsets of a program so now that means what you are good to go to write to go very deep into it and create a program on your own okay guys uh, in the coming week someone sent me which uh, which was really you know which i really liked and inspired a game on corona all right so the virus is moving and you have to move and shoot that that is a game that we will create i like that game so i wanted to create and show it to all of you i want you guys also to pick it up and practice it's going to be very interesting but the session will be a little lengthy because it involves considerable programming so that is the game that we will create okay now are you ready to jump to a menti all of you is everyone clear with first everyone clear with what are functions give me a yo moshimi very simple moshimi no problem see there are some lines of code all right which you would be required to on a long run when you create a big program you would be required to use it again and again and again right so for every time if you keep writing the code it will not work you write it once and you keep calling that code whenever you want to right that is called as a function function is a set of codes which is kept in a container which can be called or used whenever you want to all right so we created only two functions jump sprite and another sprite now so see here another sprite i did not write the code i just called the function twice when up arrow is pressed and when the bunny is clicked both the places i created uh, i called the function another sprite and it just gets executed cool so i hope now you are mosimi i hope you are clear now keep trying it by yourself guys it will be super simple oh harini use it yours awesome keep it up okay by the way guys this uh, program on conditional clauses only few of you have sent it all right when you have you ask for the time whatever the time you know the person types the time depending on the time you have to say good morning good afternoon good evening correct many of you did not send the code come on guys so simple right okay so guys are you ready for a menti multiple guys functions are of two types by the way one is an inbuilt function there are certain functions which will already be there i'll give you an example remember in uh, in this game lab we had something called uh, uh, what is that prompt number prompt prompt number to get a number right that is a function that's an inbuilt function okay now the function which i created two function jump sprite another sprites these are user defined functions i defined it so they are called user defined functions so in this language you have in any language you will have inbuilt functions as well as user defined functions clear ashok kumar you have to use the same code.org beta there is something called as a, this one is about a, on a sprite lab just to make it more interesting i did it next session when we are doing an animation uh, the, on friday i will show you guys to create a complete game full one hour we'll spend 
create a beautiful game you guys also try it along with me you will be super happy okay but it's it involves a lot of uh, things which you have to patiently listen and understand okay guys uh, i want you today's homework is i want you guys to write your own function all right and uh, probably try and create a program which calls this function multiple places and submit that to me create a program with functions where the function is being called multiple times and send the program to me by email okay share it with me awesome now guys let's jump to a menti shona as i said i don't know without uh, a laptop how it might not it's not that feasible laptop or a pc is a must desktop or a laptop okay guys i am coming back right now let me okay moving on to mnt now hello jeevans alok kumar that's what i was telling see creating see with the mobile creating a an application would be very very complicated and the experience also will not be easy and nice compatibility is also an issue technically also there are issues okay guys by the way now coming back to menti open a new a uh, browser window type go to the website menti.com m e n t i.com www. m e n t i menti.com it will ask you for a quiz code The code for today's menti quiz is seven five seven six one zero three. I repeat, my dear children, seven five seven six one zero three. Please send the homework to sundar dot r at vedantu dot com. I repeat, s u n d a r. dot r at vedantu dot com sundar dot r at vedantu dot com hello shravya welcome to vedantu young wonders pooja haluwalia typically we after in the coding session at the end of the session i normally used to give homeworks for every session so that i know that you practiced it hey guys by the way in case you are finding it difficult that time thing very simple one let me know i will create a code just it just takes 5 minutes i'll create it and show you guys if you want otherwise try it it's a simple thing yeah koel it's for everyone guys this website this channel is free for everyone so there is no question of i want all you guys to participate That's why we are a family of more than three lakh subscribers. Hi, Ketki. I am fine. How are you? Devjit, I'll show you. Don't worry. Guys, uh, All right I think it's time starting the first question be ready all of you first question on your screens now come on come on come on okay guys I think Ariman is also saying he could not he got some errors I will show you guys now don't worry You know what is the problem? The problem is you guys are not clear how to use operators. You need to use AND operator, right? That's where the problem lies. 
so i'll show you how to do it i think it's time we should start akash uh, we will do a beautiful game on corona in the coming week that is friday okay all right i think it's time first question on your screens now a function is a group of statements which can be reused any number of times true or false simple question wow satya navatej awesome keep it up guys we have to go very slow some people might find it very basic right but remember there are a lot of them who don't know the programming at all so we need to go slow wow oh, most of you got it right good it's true that's what for functions are right to repeat to reuse the code any number of times mood nandini dripto thank bhavana top 5 vidya shankar ked ayush apurv and sonira so guys top 10 ariman that's what i'm telling you i i i, I don't know i'm not able to remember so many people session i checked yesterday a function which calls itself is called as a self function auto function recursive function static function function you know function calling the function itself inside the function the same function is called okay i have not uh, told about this term today but i don't know if you guys will be able to remember or uh, find it out self auto recursive static which is the right one it is recursive guys it's called recursive sorry it's my bad it's okay hi saksham dripto nandini mooth devyam veni top 5 hello thank you advitya sparshan aditya Hi Sarita Kumari Guys question number 3 four more to go Siddharth why Siddharth why is it cheating It's a valid question here Given to check your knowledge on programming You getting it There is absolutely nothing wrong in it You know me, right? If there is not something wrong, I'll tell you. Simple. Ariman, I will give the code now. I am going to show it to all of you. So, how many values can a C function return? In C language, how many values can be there? One, only one. So, C language can return only one function. So. Dripto, Nandini, Mood, Divyam, thank you. Top five. Abhinav, Advitya, Agnes, Bhavana, and Apur. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Question number four for all of you. Here we go on your screens. Three more to go. What are the types of functions? This I told you today. Library functions, user-defined functions, both library and user-defined functions. None of the above. This I had told you. Uh, you know. today library means inbuilt
Yeah, exactly. We have both inbuilt as well as I gave you examples also, right? Yes. So after four questions. Dripto is at the top. Followed by Nandini. Mood, Divyam, thank you. Top five. Abhinav, Krish, Sparsh, Kalo and Ratnesh. Question number five, two more to go. Ashok Kumar, see like PUBG, it is not possible if you ask me. Because uh, the there are certain limitations. But it is also vast of course. But to that extent, it is different level of gaming. You can do that in Java or Python. So Dash allows us to reuse code instead of rewriting. Simple, right? Mrilalini, uh, that is Abhinav. 3GB is fine here, you can use. It will work. I think 4GB it might require. Just try, I don't know. 154. 154 of you got it, right? Functions. So, Dripto, Nandini. Guys, I think Nandini is at the top now. Nandini, Dripto, Moot, uh, Devyam and thank you. Top 5. So, Abhinav, Krish, Kalo, Anu and uh, Ramesh. Adit Advitya, Ramesh. So, question number 6. One more to go after this. Rakesh, for Python coding, that means? On screen list of available functions. Say for example, you click on the something, all the options will come. What is that called as? Is it called a toolbar? Is it called as I can menu taskbar? Time is running. Wow, 71 of you got this right. Keep it up, guys. Menu, it's a menu. Okay, Dripto. Wow, now Dripto is at the top. Followed by Nandini. Thank you. Mood, Devyam. Abhinav, Pratham, Soham, Bala and Agnes. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Last question for today, this session. Mahaling Swami, come on here. All instructions inside of the function are executed from when a function is running. How is it run? Running top from from the the core, top to bottom or bottom to top or middle to bottom. Super simple, right? Abhinav, yes, depending on your system, upgradation facility will always be there. But I don't know what is the configuration of the system. With that only, I will be able to tell you. Top to bottom, guys. Good, 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 good. Keep it up. So, who's going to win today? Functions, how simple they are. All of you know it now. Dripto. Wow, Nandini is winning the quest. Last session, she rocked. Wow. Nandini, amazing. Keep it up. Congratulations. Dripto, great job done, beta. Superb. Thank you, Vedantu. And who is that? I am not able to get the name. Divyan. Okay. Abhinav, Soham, Bala, Yashvi, Muth, Agnes. Guys, everyone in the leaderboard, many, many congratulations. And there are a few who might be kind of struggling, right? It's okay. It's okay. Keep trying. Keep practicing. Guys, I just wanted to show you that, uh, you know, in case you want to know, I'll show you that code one second. So, I'll go to this. Uh, that's, I think it's Game Lab, right? Yeah, it's in Game Lab. So, in Game Lab, what I'm doing is.
Okay, now let us take first day. Let's take the name, the time. I mean, so tm time. I'm just using a variable. Tm is equal to uh, prompt number. Prompt number of enter time. Okay. So step one is that. Now if now we are checking if prompt number uh, i mean tm right sorry tm is equal to uh, no greater than or equal to 1 and see and will be like this for saying good morning what are we doing for saying good morning 1 to 12 right before 12 and tm is less than 12 all right then what are we going to do then text let's put a good text size text size uh 25 then put a text uh good morning so if it is less than 12 noon in the you know morning it is say good morning at what place say 1 comma 150 right now it is over similarly same code we will use if time is if greater than or equal to 12 from 12 to 4 o'clock right Greater than or equal to twelve and less than five o'clock, then it is sixteen. I'm sorry. So seventeen p. Seventeen is five o'clock, correct? Then say good afternoon. Similarly, if time is greater than Or equal to fifteen, seventeen. Then say good evening. Simple guys, that's it. Clear? So what have I done here? First, getting the time. If time is from one one o'clock, all right, and uh, till that is night, till afternoon twelve o'clock. Before twelve o'clock, say good morning. From twelve o'clock before five o'clock, that is till four o'clock, say good afternoon. After four o'clock, say good evening. Simple. Now let's run it. Time ten. Ten is good morning. Now running it again. Uh, say fifteen. Fifteen is good afternoon. Correct. Then running it. Say twenty. Twenty is good night or good evening. I'm sorry. Everyone clear, guys. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, guys. I'm very sorry. Sometimes it happens. Sorry. Sorry, Vamsi. I also didn't note it. So, guys, I hope uh, you you know you can. So, I repeat, variable tm is equal to prompt number of enter time. If time is greater than one and ampersand is for and. because we have we need to check two conditions time should be more than 1 o'clock more than or equal to 1 o'clock all right and less than 12 pm now good morning greater than equal to 12 from 12 to 4 pm so instead of 4 pm i have said uh, less than 5 pm say good afternoon greater than 4 pm it is it is good evening my dear guys are you able to understand this say for example if i say 11 o'clock good morning everyone understanding this simple so for people who found it a little difficult just wanted to give it to you guys so that you are able to do it Udaya I hope now you are clear <laughs> okay good 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 fine guys so guys remember today's homework do a good job send it to me at sundar.r@vedantu.com okay lovely interacting guys i hope you like the session you know now you know what are functions guys whatever is required for programming now all of you know the basics of programming you can confidently because we have dealt with all the basic elements of programming by the way guys in case you want to learn full fledged programming 
I wanted to show this to you guys. One second. In case you want to learn full-fledged programming, Vedantu has an amazing program called Vedantu Super Coders. Take a free demo here, guys. It's a completely free demo. Note down this link, okay? vdnt.in slash gkxhh. Note down this link. Niyati, normally I don't respond at all because I will be doing so many things, right? I will not have a minute also. So, always write to me, better. Weekends, I will sit normally. I look at all the emails and respond. Okay. So, vdnt.in slash gkxhh. This is for taking a free demo session. Absolutely free demo session. But if you are interested, take up guys. I would strongly recommend because it will make you a very strong app developer. You can create your own apps here. What more you want? Homework is you need to create a, a code, a program where which has create which has a function and the program should call that function the way we did today. But it, you should not repeat what I did. I want you guys to think on your own, uh, you know, create some function, something more, you know, uh, a lot better because you will have more time, right? I had only 40 minutes. Cool. Awesome, guys. So, yeah, uh, get to the demo also, guys. Look at this demo as well. It might help you guys. Thank you so much, my dear cats. Lovely interacting with you. I hope you enjoyed the session. Now you're clear with functions as well. I'll meet you at 6.30 in the evening. Until then, this is myself, Sundar Ravindranathan, signing off. Bye. Take care. I'm here, I'm here. Dripto, you will be receiving it in a week, but I need two weeks at least. Okay. For people who want that, give me a week's time. I'll be able to ship it in a week. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Nikita Kartikeyan. How are you? Harini, congratulations. You are super awesome. Proud of you. Hey, Danvin, it's okay, yaar. Yes, Unnati, you have to send it by email. Yes. Hi, Maya, Sonia, I'm fine. It is called code.org. You have to go to Sprite Lab in code.org and create the function. Okay? Right, guys, thank you so much. Bye-bye, take care.